Hi, I'm Jim Brolin. You know, I've had a lot of great adventures in my life, but the treasure hunters I'm about to introduce you to are about to go on an adventure that we all wish we were part of. More than one third of the world's gold is lost beneath the great seas. The hunt for the greatest hidden treasures left on this earth is about to begin with a fresh approach, pursued by the best of the best. With Wilf Bloom, the visionary leader of Deep Blue Marine, and his extraordinary technicians, historians, and deep divers to lead the way. I'm the president of Deep Blue Marine. I'd like to introduce to you the crew that we brought in from all over the United States. I'd like to start with Ellen South. Well, I work with the uh, sonar imaging and the detection equipment. We have state-of-the-art equipment. This is Ed Kryaski. I'm the operations manager for Deep Blue Marine. I'm also uh, an ex-Special Forces Army captain and ex-commercial diver. Been on quite a few shipwrecks, found what I think is a very valuable one for the company in South America, and I think we're going to be going after it later this year. Well, my name is Truman Weatherly. Uh, I'm a treasure hunter, an SSA graduate, a deep water specialist, but my primary function for Deep Blue Marine is to provide the most accurate historical research that's available. Truman is studying with a guy by the name of Jack Haskins, who is the number one researcher in the world. And Jack is working with us exclusively with Truman on this on the projects we're doing this year. And we're really grateful to have both of them working on our research. Next gentleman here is a fellow that some people might even know. His name is Jim Cross. Jim worked on the Challenger when it went down, has recovered several fighter jets for the Air Force. Working with the uh, information that's been uh, gained from the archives, we'll provide special equipment and technology and work in training and as a consulting position with Deep Blue. Right here. Tom, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do. My name's Tom Holden. I'm an ex-Airborne Ranger. Um, I pull treasure off the bottom. That's our crew. This is the crew that's going to bring up the gold. Deep Blue Marine has combined the best in personnel and technologies. We have the best location technologies and the best recovery technologies. We have with us seven of the best people, best divers, and historians on the planet. We have put together the dream team of salvage recovery in America. There's never been a finer group of individuals put together for a marine uh, survey and, ex and salvage team than what is right here right now. The team at Deep Blue Marine have already collectively pulled nearly two billion dollars out of the sea, are ready to continue the hunt of their lives. So if you want to see these incredible treasures, go to www.alldeepblue.com. And every time we pull something up, there'll be live footage there for you to look at. Deep Blue Marine has licensed proprietary technology that no one else in the world has at this point in time. Our technology that we use is so advanced that it'll give us the ability to find treasure in places that no one has ever looked before or may have overlooked. The main challenges are uh, accumulating all this data that uh, is, is many times uh, found to be hundreds of years old, putting it into a modern context and then applying it to the modern technology we're using. You can imagine how that is to read through documents that haven't been read in several hundred years and understand, oh, well, we were you know, at this particular reef point and heading easterly. And so that's how we come up with our uh, longitude and latitude. We can then uh, send our team in that area and, and do our survey. And that's when, when Jim comes in with his um, new sonar equipment when we can pick up anomalies on the seafloor and then we put on our gear and we go down there and we check it out. I can tell you statistically that over 20% of all the ships that sailed during a thousand year period are still out there on the seafloor. 10 to 15 billion dollars of value is still there and we're going after it. Deep Blue Marine is committed to preserving the historical nature of underwater archaeology. When Deep Blue Marine finds artifacts, the rare artifacts will be housed in museums. The common artifacts, such as gold specie or silver coin, will be sold or retained by Deep Blue Marine. And you can find out how to become part of this amazing new business opportunity at their website, alldeepblue.com. DPBM, the stock symbol that marks the spot.
And if just owning stock doesn't bring you close enough to the adventure, you'll be able to grab your own piece of history when they put their recoveries up for sale on their website, oldeepblue.com.